All right, running a quick T-chart, a lot of people on our social media will say, hey, listen, don't go to KBI. Uh, that's, that, that costs you money. You can get paid. You can get paid to learn. And what they're talking about typically is, is union. Um, and, and wildly enough, every time they do, I'll compliment or comment right back and say, man, that's great advice for KBI grads because the union farm from the Kentucky Welding Institute, like we are partners with them. Uh, we encourage them to come in and, and uh, you know, solicit to our guys to recruit. Uh, and, and we have great relationships uh, with union across the Kentucky Welding Institute. So we're, we, we love it. No, no big deal. Uh, we aren't biased. Like uh, maybe union would, would like us to say go all union. Uh, we don't. We honestly just want what that, what that graduate wants. So if they want non-union, that's what we want for them. If they want union, that's what we want for them. Um, so not that we're trying to play the fence, uh, but we do feel like that given your situation, you know, uh, the future that you're trying to carve out for you, that there are just different paths to get there. So let's talk real quick about going union straight out the gate. With KWI, we're gonna start guys every two weeks. Like you can, you can get in, every, every two weeks we've got a start date. So you can come right now and start working on you, you know, your skill set, your work ethic, your future. With the union, I think you need to check that. Sometimes there is some weight. So I guess the only point I'm making, and I'm not dogging union on this, I'm just saying that for the most part, a lot of, a lot of Instagram haters are saying, don't go to KWI, join a union, as if it happens that quick. Like that you can, you can walk into your local union and be like, start paying me to learn today and they can turn that on for you. It doesn't really happen that way. Um, there are some, some steps to get in to the union. Um, now, if you, if you can and, you, and that's what you're about, then go for it. We encourage that, that's fine. We don't want everybody to come to KWI. We couldn't hold them all, right? I mean, it's not, not, not what we're trying to do at all. Just wanna show you the differences though. So KWI, now, um, if you go to union, you will, you will be a part of an apprenticeship program. Apprenticeship program, my, my handwriting is gonna look sloppy on there, but that's what that says, apprenticeship program. At KWI, you won't. Um, you're gonna train uh, for 40 hours a week, 40 hours per week, uh, for, for roughly 24 weeks solid, which usually is 26 with, with holidays, that's 960 hours. And you're gonna come out with, with six AWS certs, and maybe some extras, because we allow you, if you complete our program in less than, 20, than, than 960 hours, you can continue to certify on Copper Nickel, on Inconel, on Duplex, on Branch of Bell Hole, on Chrome, whatever you want. We've got a lot of WPSs. We actually have, we, we know we've got a lot of a union tests, so we can do the UA21 if you want. Um, there are some things that we can help you with. You know, if you're, if you're coming to KBI as a student and you're wanting to go to union, we can help you out with that. You know, the union likes the fact that we run that NCCER curriculum. You know, it was originally set up as an apprenticeship type of system as far as their curriculum and alignment. Um, we run NCCCO, uh, that's good too. It just teaches the guys how to act around cranes, you know, possibly how to help rig or signal an operator. Um, we're gonna give you the OSHA 30 and Amshaw 24. Uh, we're gonna give you a TWIC, a basic plus, uh, and we're gonna, we're gonna drug test you with the CCS toxicology card. A lot of this stuff is transferable or, or it, it resonates with, with, the, uh, with the union. Depending on the union, depending on the outfit and what you're looking to go into, uh, a KWI education, a six months worth of education coming out with some good, some good certs can help you leverage, you know, it's possible to walk in as a second or third year apprentice. Um, and we have seen in, in past, some of our guys, if they've got some age on them, so not only, you know, maybe they were in industry for a little bit, maybe they were already uh, a, a fitter or a boiler maker, maybe um, non-union. They come to us, they get their certification package. We have seen them go with, with a, provisional, a provisional journeyman into the union. Um, so yes, union is a great way to go. They are going to, they will pay to train you, yes. You can start earning money. These pay scales, you know, that apprenticeship year one, year two, year three, year four, year five, and then your J1, you're getting walked up as far as the amount of money you're earning every year. It's more, right? You're more valuable to them with, with the experiences you got. So you can see this is going to grow. So if you come to KWI, and again, you're saying with Union, it's free, right? They're paying you to learn. Well, if you come to KWI and you get some of that tuition paid off with, with uh, Pell Grants or WIOA Grants, or you've got some scholarships, American Welding Society, Mike Rowe, you know, it's possible that uh, you get the tuition paid down enough to where coming to KWI for six months and then launching into a higher pay scale in a whole lot, you know, it didn't take you, it didn't take you this year and this, it didn't take you two years to start making that, that third year apprentice. 
if, if your certification package and time launches you into those higher pay scales, it's possible that when you put pencil to paper, you're, you will be dollars ahead, ROI-wise, return on investment to go to KWI. Now, I'm not just saying this. I, I mean, I think you should put pencil to paper, depending on what union you're trying to go to. If that's an iron worker or a bullet maker, a pipe fitter, a steam fitter, whatever that is, you need to look into that and, and make your decision. I can tell you with confidence, though, this pencils, because we have, we have sons of union fathers who will, who will tell their sons to come to Kentucky Welding Institute um, and launch into these, these higher pay scales uh, and essentially shave time off that apprenticeship, which again, launches them into those higher pay scales. So love union, all about it. Go, if, if that's what you want, that's what we want for you. Love non-union, if that's what you want, that's what we want for you. Either way, we are trying to train welders uh, to go out and be productive citizens in, in America uh, and, and to hopefully uh, you know, make a living for their families. Uh, that's what we're trying to do. Uh, so, so don't hate on us. You know, you, uh, go ahead and comment on us. Anytime we tell them, hey, come to KBI, you can tell them to, to go union. We'd encourage them to go union too after they get done uh, with their KWI experience. So there it is, stacked up. Um, check it out at your local union hall. See how long it's gonna take you before you can get in. You know, go sign up. See what that apprenticeship looks like. Um, and if you're local to Kentucky, or, or and, and we test, we, we, do, we work with a lot of unions. So, so check us out. Um, maybe go to that hall and see if, if they've heard of us or, or, or what that would help you do. You know, if you came with welding experience, I think some things ebb and flow. You know, you're trying to get into a, a union that, that, uh, uh, that, that their primary trade is welding. You know, they, they have welding there. Um, if they may not want to start you from scratch, I guess is what I'm saying. It may, it may be beneficial to them if you're coming in with experience. You can run an oxyfuel, an arc out, a plasma cutter. Uh, you can weld with all four basic processes and you can, you can turn a 6G on their UA21, TIG Group 718 fill and cap. Like they need that. So that's where they're willing to sometimes shave off some of that apprenticeship time for your certification package that you get at the Kentucky Williams. So check us out, do your own research. Don't take my word for it. We want you to uh, you know, go do your, your research. Um, if, if we're a good fit for you, come take a tour. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk it out. So hopefully you guys like this video. We'll be putting out more videos on our YouTube channel. So subscribe to that. And also check out our website. We have links and we also have shop for clothing and a virtual tour. Until next time, see you there.